Books don't make money. Oh, shocker. Yeah, a uh, $1, $5 Kindle book, a uh, $15, $20 paperback book, it's not a really big revenue generator for most entrepreneurs. Now, we're going to spend a lot of time in creating this book and positioning this book and making it a bestseller and putting it in the news and getting that, all those things lined up. But at the end of the day, that's a branding exercise. It's a credibility foundation. It's the, it's the seed for you becoming an influencer in your marketplace, right? which is what this module is going to share with you, how to create your other products from your book so that you can become a best-selling entrepreneur as well as a best-selling author. Let's get started. Okay, one of my favorite ideas here of publishing books is the, the fact that nobody reads books anymore. So we've got to make sure that you have other content, other products that uh, you're going to make money with because a book is 15, 20 bucks. And uh, man, you got to sell a whole lot of them to make any decent money with it. So let's talk about the other products that support or are involved with publishing a book. Number one, there's strategy and there's tactics. We're going to cover both the overall strategy as well as some tactical things to do to get your content out there. So we're going to cover first the why of digital products, uh, physical products even, and, and coaching products. And then we're going to get to the how-to of creating those from your book with some, some specific elements you can do, some tools you can employ, as well as a variety of products and services that are available to you as a best-selling author. And we're going to do this, again, in record time. So the strategy is, number one, you've heard me say it before. I'm going to keep saying this until I'm blue in the face, but you've got to solve a real problem. If you're out there as a, uh, a coach or uh, talking to people about inspiring them, you know what, man? I'm sorry, but um, that's just crap, okay? You're, you can't inspire people without some tangible results. Because motivation, you know, Zig Ziglar say it, motivation is like taking a shower. You got to do it every day. It wears off. So just inspiring people with your ideas is, uh, you know what, There's, they have Tony Robbins for that. They don't need you. So you better solve a real problem. Now, if, you're real, if your real issue is, hey, I do inspire people and my, um, my, my sales force has a 10% increase in sales, then hallelujah, you've actually inspired people to action. And that's the, that's the real problem you solve. You, the problem wasn't a lack of inspiration or motivation. The problem from the, the CEO standpoint was sales. Uh, I just got off the phone actually talking with a consultant for Louis Vuitton, and uh, we're, we're working very, very hard on making sure that his program, which is a little bit intangible, has a tangible output attached to it. So no matter what you do, whether it is a, a specific, real, tangible issue you can solve, or if it's a little bit wispy and intangible, Drill down deeper into what it means to your clients and their clients at a, at a visceral level, right? Is it going to save them time and money? If so, how much? Is it going to make their life happier? If so, how do they measure it? Is it going to repair their relationship? If so, what's the benefit of that? How do you measure joy? You know, how do you measure and, and monetize an intangible benefit? I don't have the answer for you. You've got to do that on your own. Happy to uh, talk with you about that if you're one of our clients. But it, it has to happen, and it, it helps so much in your marketing when you can have some case studies of, of somebody who's taken your intangible idea and got a tangible benefit from it. It's, it's wonderful. So we're gonna, the strategy is going to create other products. We're going to create um, audios, videos, live events, whatever it is, from your book and make a lot more money with those things than the book itself. And keep in mind when we do that, the, uh, the seven P's of, of marketing, right? The products, positioning, packaging, pricing, promotion, place, and people. Um, I'm not going to go through the details on that. There's a very tiny link at the bottom here from an entrepreneur article written by Brian Tracy that covers these things. But your products have to have a variety of um, price points. Your positioning should be in line with your customer's pain. Your packaging has to be professional. And your promotion has to be in line with wherever your audience is already going. Right? If your audience is all on Instagram, you better be on Instagram. Okay? And the people, it has to revolve around, obviously, the, the emotional side of people. So there's a lot of information on the seven P's of marketing. I'm not going to get into that here. I wanted to cover a brief outline of strategy, solving problems, different modalities, whether it's audio, video, live, etc., and making sure you, you make it look good and perform. Okay? So before you create, here's the, the outline. Here's how it, the... Um, this, how simple this is. We, create, we spend sometimes 
uh, months, you know, some people times weeks, you know, a few people get it done in days, but most people spend a good amount of time um, crafting their book. I'm not talking about the people who crank out a book in a weekend or, or a couple of hours. Those aren't books. Those are called reports, and they're, they're nice, but don't ever call them a book. You're, you're a liar. Uh, a real book takes thought, and thinking at a deep level takes time. So a book is the lowest priced product and takes the most amount of time. So you've got a lot of content and thought and intelligence behind that, I hope. When you've done that, you've got a table of contents. Use that as your outline for everything else. If you've pulled your audience thoroughly, you've got plenty of questions, ideas, content, and stories to back this up. If you've asked the specific questions, which I've outlined in the previous modules, you know what I'm talking about. It's not just what's your biggest pain in work or your life. It's what does that pain mean to you? How does it show up? And what would it mean to you of getting that pain solved? When you enroll true collaboration with your audience before, during, and big clue here, after the book is out, you're going to create killer products that make you a ton of money, right? So keep in mind, engage your, your audience before, during, and after the book is out. It's going to help you craft, position, and publish these products. And these products are, this is the real golden egg here stuff, okay? So here are the two big the two big columns here. There's preparation and tactics, right? Preparations, you've got statements, questions. We covered that already. Repurposing that content, um, I'm doing this here on, I'm using QuickTime video and a, and a headset and my laptop. Okay, it's very, very simple. I'm taking my, my core elements from my book and I've created a PowerPoint and I'm talking about it based on my experience and knowledge in this industry. The packaging, you've seen it. I've got a graphic designer that's packaged up all this stuff. Now, there's two different ways to deliver your information. There's the drip feeding version or the fire hose, all right? Drip feeding is saying, here, you get a new module every single week, every single day. And the fire hose is, here's everything I got, sign up, right? And there's no right or wrong answer to this. I have taken courses from people who drip feed things, and I digest it once a week or once a day. And I've gone to membership sites where it's all there, and I get overwhelmed, and I don't always go through the whole thing. So in my case, I prefer have information drip to me because I can digest it at a reasonable pace, but it's up to you. Whatever you prepare, whether it's video, audio, or events, you decide what's best for your audience. And the way, best way to decide that, ta-da, next point, feedback, right? Get feedback from your audience after your products are also already done, right? During, I already mentioned, obviously, before the book, during the book, and after the book, but even after you create these products, don't be afraid to offer surveys. What did you like about this? What would you did like about it? How would you improve? Excuse me. How would you improve it? There is no um, no better feedback than someone who's given you money and you ask for their honest opinion, and they're going to tell you it. All right. Um, so get some case studies from that. The more case studies you have on people who've actually used your stuff, um, the more compelling your offer is. The more interaction you'll get. And when you treat it like I do, I actually showcase my clients in my own marketing, yeah, it's, it's a benefit to me, right? Because I have that social proof that I know what I'm doing. We've got, you know, hundreds of bestsellers, but it also showcases them. I'm a giver. And so I want to make sure that I get them more exposure and get my clients more business, okay? So those are the, the, con, the concepts of preparing this thing. And the actual tactics, one-on-one -on -one consulting, highest priced product you can possibly sell, least amount of preparation. If you have some experience in your industry, you can set up a one-page website and a Skype call and charge several thousand bucks to consult with people. You're ready to go like today. Setting up a, uh, the book, I said, you know, this book could take weeks or months to pull off um, and has the least monetary value. A $20 book can take a year and a $5,000 coaching program could take you literally minutes to set up. It's sort of strange. Um, retreats um, are a great thing to do. We, we, we've got some schedule for our, our program here for um, best-selling authors. Um, they're a pain in the rear end to set up. They're very, very uh, logistically intensive, but a whole lot of fun to do if it's a manageable group of people and it's uh, high priced enough that it's, it's going to screen out some of the, um, uh, eh, whatever you want to call them, less desirable folks who just uh, want to suck up and, and uh, don't really participate. So I like having retreats which are um, mid to high range price wise. You get a higher quality group of people, you make the same amount of money. And it's a small group, so it's a great way to go. Audio courses um, for people who are into the uh, the podcasting, Spotify, audio, audio auditory learners, 
definitely convert your, your video products into audio files. Very simple to do. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, group coaching is very, very popular. Um, I've done it. I'm not a huge fan. We offer it. It's, it's a good thing if people are engaged and it's a small enough group they can ask questions. But the large group coaching things, anytime you get more than 20, 30, 50 people on a group call, not everybody gets their questions answered. They tend to go on way too long. And it gets a little bit tiring for me because as you can tell, I, I like, I'm, a, I'm a fast talker, fast thinker. I like getting I like getting things done quickly. So my favorite course, as you know from this program, is I prefer done for you services. That's what I would appreciate as a customer. So that's what I deliver as a businessman. I know that people can learn how to become a bestseller, how to get in the news, how to build their brand, how to get traffic, how to convert that traffic, and people spend months or years learning that. But the truth is, time is so much more valuable than money. So when you have the means, hire it out. Have it done for you. It's much simpler. Um, it's actually cheaper in the long run to get someone to do it for you versus learning it yourself. If you value your time for anything more than a buck, it's, it's much cheaper to, to uh, outsource your marketing, right? To outsource your books creation, to outsource your bestseller and have someone do it all for you. It allows you to sleep better at night. It gets done. It gets done professionally and you're off to the races. Um, video lessons are also very popular. I love teaching video here, as you can tell, and sharing this content. Um, I'm a big fan of, of making them short, as you know, and then offering PDF um, outlines, checklists, and blueprints to go with it. Because, like I said, I, I put all my videos on double speed, where I, I actually watch webinars and video programs at twice the speed, because your brain can comprehend that much, much quicker than you can believe. So I'll, I'll even put a link for that at the bottom of this thing as well. I think it's really important to, to do that um, for yourself to uh, digest information quickly and deliver it um, efficiently, okay? So that's how you prepare to build your products, and this is how you actually do it, right? These are the things you can offer. There's a whole bunch more in the, uh, the PDF on this uh, module you'll see below. Okay, back to tools. We talked about tools about these double speed thing and the things you need to, uh, to be a content creator. The very minimum thing you need, basically, is you know you need a computer and, uh, and a couple of programs. Skype is my one of my all-time favorites. It's a free program, and you can talk to people on Skype whether they have Skype or not. If they do have Skype, it's always a little bit uh, more seamless. But they can you can do Skype to a phone. Um, it's great for coaching. I use it for my my private one-on-one -on -one coaching and training as well. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Keynote because I'm a Mac guy. PowerPoint also works great, and I'm a huge fan of Prezi. Um, I'll show you Prezi here um, a little bit later. It's a really nice little tool. It gives like a, 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 it flies around a screen. It's not a linear progression like a PowerPoint like this is, but I'll, I'll give you an example of it um, in another program, another, another module. Um, to record things, I use QuickTime because it's free, and I press play and record, and it's right there. ScreenFlow and Camtasia are also very popular. There's a lot more editing and, and tools and features you can do with that. Uh, I use Ecamm to record all my consulting calls for my clients. My clients generally want to refer back to what we cover on our calls because I do go through it quickly. So Ecamm is a module that plugs into Skype and I think it's at this time, it's about 20 bucks and it's a one-time purchase. For actual webinars, oh my gosh, I used to be a fan of uh, you know a bunch of them out there like uh, you know Google Hangouts and Webinar Jam and all that and it's just buggy, clunky. I'm, GoToWebinar has been a solid platform. It's the most expensive one for a reason. It's very solid and it works all the time, well, most of the time. Um, Zoom is a new one that's out there right now, and I've had a few people appreciate that. I'll be doing some Zoom's uh, webinars as well in the future. And uh, so far, I've, I've used it three times, and I enjoy it. Um, in terms of uh, uh, editing things, um, the iMovie is, my, is a very simple video editor, or the PC equivalent, whatever that is, I don't know. Uh, you need a PDF creator to take your documents and create them into PDFs. And that is generally a function of MS Word or Mac Pages where you just go and save as a PDF. It's, there's no program or software you need for that. Um, and then for, for marking, up pro, marking up graphics or marking up a document, there's a product called Jing, which is also um, by the same company that gives uh, uh, Camtasia, uh, TechSmith. And Jing is a way to take an image and write on it. It's a really slick little tool. So those are the... Um, 13 of the best tools that you can live without. I'll leave this link to this little ebook in the download section here as well so you can enjoy and go through those, those tools and use those to create your other products, okay? In conclusion, a lot of people say your, your, uh, your book is your new business card. Well, that's crap, it's not a business card. 
it better be more than that because if you a business card you look at it and it's got contact information on it a book should engage people it should be a soft introduction into a relationship put personnel in your book and it becomes more than a business card it helps speed up the process of getting to know somebody do I like this person do they sound like they'd be a fun person to work with or are they giving me some intelligent information that I can use um, your content needs to be repurposed if it's just out there the way it is. Like I, I, I bought one program once and the video, ver you know, here's the book I purchased and the video series that came with it, the author read the book and that was her video series. I'm like, this is boring. I mean, this is, I can just read the book faster than you can speak and it was just stupid. So make sure that you're actually going through your content and adding some value, <laughs> some perspective, some positioning on that. And as always, you've heard me say it more than twice now, solve real problems. When you do that, you're, in, you're uh, way ahead of the game. When you communicate that effectively, that means communicate is a two-way conversation, not one way, not a post, not a book even. Mm, chat a little bit. But when you have communication with your audience, with your clients, and you do it effectively, they're going to love you, they're going to refer their friends, and you will become a real bestseller. So... I hope you've enjoyed this fast module and uh, keep the downloads for yourself to use all you want. I hope you have an opportunity to engage with me. If you've got an idea for a book, happy to talk to you about that. If you've got a book, I want to make it a bestseller. Put it in the news and build, build yourself a killer brand. We are the best company to do that for you. And I can say that with uh, very little hesitation. I've, I know a lot of people in my industry. I love and respect most of them. But I'm telling you, there's nobody out there who's going to take the time and the sincere interest in you as much as I am and my team. And I'll show you that if you go to my, my, uh, my link on the program we are offering you, you'll see how much detail we, we have in store for you and how thoroughly we put this together. And we have an amazing guarantee because it's 100% done for you services. So, boom, guess what? You're going to be a bestseller and you're going to be in the news and you're going to have 20 new websites that are all talking about how cool your book is. So we can do that for you in a matter of weeks. If that's of interest to you, go click on that link. If that's not, keep learning, keep engaging. Um, we may come out with a, uh, a, uh, you know, a learning version of this, a done with you program. Right now, I like doing it for you. Um, but stay in touch. I really look forward to reading your book if it's good. <laughs> okay, so we talk to the audience and you're solving problems, I guarantee it'll be good. It'll be effective. So stay in touch. I'm accessible. You can uh, um, contact me on Facebook. This is Doug Crow with Real Best Seller.